Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. Uh, in the last video, we talked about the energy building phase of a high performance landing. Uh, at the end of that phase, you've built up a bunch of speed, which we can measure using your maximum vertical speed. To turn this into a landing, you need to take that vertical speed and turn it into horizontal speed. If you do this too quickly, you'll generate a lot of drag because of big control inputs involved. Uh, but if you do it too slowly, the effective drag around your canopy, your lines, and your body will add up uh, and you'll lose speed due to this accumulated drag. So we want our dive angle to change quickly, but not too quickly. Uh, this suggests that there's an optimal rate at which the dive angle should change, and we're expecting a smooth recovery arc with no sudden changes. We can measure this in FlySight Viewer using the dive angle and dive rate plots. First, we zoom in to the landing. Then we enable the dive angle and dive rate plots using either the left menu or by hitting A and R on the keyboard. We're really looking for the same thing in both plots. In the dive angle plot, we're looking for a straight line going from around 90 degrees to around zero degrees with no bumps. In the dive rate plot, we're looking for a horizontal line. Any bumps like this one in either plot most likely indicate a control input, which will cause extra drag. You could check this by synchronizing outside video with your data as we described in a previous video. You could also use horizontal speed at the end of the recovery arc to measure how efficiently you've converted your vertical speed into horizontal speed. In this case, we start with 119 kilometers an hour of vertical speed, and we end with 109 kilometers an hour of horizontal speed. The main issue here is that horizontal speed is affected by wind. Uh, you can adjust for wind in FlySight Viewer, but this doesn't work very well in situations where the wind is changing, like when you're close to the ground. Small errors in the wind calculation could make a significant difference in your horizontal speed measurement, so you should be aware of the margin of error here. If you're using FlySight for swooping right now, I'd love to hear what values you keep an eye on. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.